right, welcome back. I'm Dylan Black. The annual Biology Butterfly Show is coming at the, uh, the Nesbitt Biology Building, Carleton University, and it's happening September 30th to October 8th. So it kicks off this weekend. With us right now, joining us, uh, events coordinator, Let's Talk Science, is you, Shannon Thini. Uh, nice to have you here. Thanks for getting uh, you, you yeah. excited to be on TV talking about butterflies? I'm nervous, but yes, Don't be I'm nervous. <laughs> Uh, Elisa, as well as with this uh, volunteer coordinator, Let's Talk Science. Um, can you tell us about Let's Talk Science? What exactly is Let's Talk Science? Yeah, so yeah. Let's Talk Science is a national charity program, and we have sites all across the provinces, and Ottawa being the largest site. And we have upper year undergrads and graduate students from both the University of Ottawa and Carleton University making science fun for the youth in yeah. our community. And we also do outreach in rural areas of Ottawa, and we do go up to Indigenous communities such as Ottawa Piscat, um, Keshachuan for Albany to do science outreach and we do it through hands-on activities okay yeah so you're engaging engaging so many people yeah for students. sure you uh, can you tell us uh, so the history of the butterfly show then yeah so uh, the butterfly show started at Carlton in 1999 and it's been going on since um, so we have for one week we have about 1300 butterflies um, over 41 species Wow! and they're all exotic tropical species so the ones that you probably wouldn't see in Ontario mm -hmm. and they're housed and yeah we uh, invite like the public to come just check it out so it's a, it's a hit among every age group mm -hmm. children adults and people everyone. always talk about it as well when, when this yeah. falls around this time of year where do you get all these butterflies from so we get them actually shipped as pupae. Um, so Ed, who is the greenhouse manager, he's with the Department of Biology at Carleton University. So he arranges for these um, butterflies to come in from um, from like all over the world, all usually the from world. like Africa and stuff. Yeah, but it seems like a, a lot, a pretty big undertaking to get that is, many different yeah. species of butterflies into little old Ottawa, you know? <laughs> so, which is fun. Uh, so, what can people expect then, uh, Elisa? So, are, is it, there are there tours? Are there self-guided tours? Are there? Yeah. So the part that Let's Talk Science is responsible for are is the educational aspects. So what we do is we have tours that run around 20 minutes long, where we tell the 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 audience um, a little bit more about butterflies, um, how they form, a bit of the anatomy, and then they get a 20-minute uh, tour of the butterfly where they just get to freely explore the greenhouse and check mm -hmm. out all the butterflies. So are butterflies literally flying all yes. over the place? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like you're in a tropical rainforest and the butterflies are up close. They yeah. might even land on you. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. Nothing to be afraid of though, right? No. Like no. That butterflies are never harmful or anything like that. No. You never have to worry about that kind of stuff. No. And they're always beautiful. They're very, very beautiful. Very beautiful, which is great. Okay, so, so people, Yushan, are, are looking to be a part of this. I mean, should they bring stuff themselves? I mean, do, would you bring binoculars? Would you bring, like, any kind of... Um, so what I would recommend is to wear very colorful clothing. Um, butterflies love bright colors. Um, you could also bring a slice of orange or a pineapple. Th oh. These um, fruits will uh, attract the butterflies, so they'll come and land on them. So you, then you could get like very flash photography photos. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And I can imagine throughout the years there's been many photography or photos being taken by different Yeah, so uh, we have a hashtag on Instagram. Um, so we just where people usually end up posting okay. their pictures. What is your hashtag, by the way? Carleton University Butterfly Show. That's easy. We yeah. can remember that. <laughs> there are some uh, beautiful butterflies as well. Now, I don't know. I don't want to put you guys in the spot. Uh, okay. spot. Are you butterfly experts, would you say? I wouldn't say I'm a butterfly expert, but this is one of my favorite butterflies. It's the emerald swallowtail. Um, so the emerald name comes from its green color. Of course. Color. And, and where would uh, the, that butterfly be from? Is that, is that a Canadian species or from, from somewhere else? It would be a tropical species. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen that before. And what is happening? Okay, so we're moving along, which is fine, but this looks like a, a bumblebee type of butterfly. Do we know the name of this butterfly? It has a Latin name that I can't pronounce, That's which okay. is great, but um, <laughs> I believe it, it resembles the flame of a candle. As okay. you can see, the orange and the yellow colors, so a lot of people call it the flame butterfly. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's very beautiful. And this fellow right here? This is actually the owl butterfly, so it gets its oh, yeah. name from, you, if you see the um, eyes, it looks like an owl, so that's where it gets its name from, and it actually uses it to scare away predators. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. I, I could imagine. And we'll have a look at this one as well, so this sort of has the same look as the last yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a different butterfly, it's called the blue morpho. Um, so again, it has like that chocolate color, 
underwing with those eyes to scare away predators, but when it opens up its wings, it's very bright blue. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of my favorite, another one of my favorites, butterflies. So all this and much more is what we're going to find out about, learn about uh, this upcoming weekend. So what are the hours then for this event? Yeah, so we're open um, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. On weekends, the line will close around 3 p.m. just due to the sheer volume of um, the public who wants to come see the events. Okay. But from nine to four is the hours. And when you say lines, so it's a pretty popular event. It's very popular. So yeah. um, sometimes on the weekends, the hours could get from a two hour wait to a three hour wait. Mm -hmm. But we do have hands on activities that we do. So the, the Carleton University Biology Society and Let's Talk Science, we do like fun hands on butterfly themed activities for to keep the kids entertained during that All time. Right. Okay. And uh, sorry, one more time, how many butterflies? So we're going to have 1300. 100 spe uh, butterflies, wow. um, 41 species. That's a lot of butterflies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and bring, what did you say, lemon or, or uh, pineapple? Um, orange and orange. pineapple uh, slices. Interesting. Okay. Yushan and Elisa, thank you very much from Let's Talk Science. We appreciate your time here today. Thank and you. And the Butterfly Show is coming up, the annual Biology Butterfly Show this weekend at Carleton University. On the way, certified professional coach Tanya Pomerantz joins us next on Daytime.